Hi, yes, hello everyone, I'm Gavin.js, and if the last video was All of the Nodes Part 0, this is All of the Nodes Part 0 0.5, because there's something that I forgot to talk about in the last video that I think is incredibly important for us to talk about, and that's sockets. We have talked about sockets once before in the for loops video, but I figure they're pretty important to understand if you're trying to fully understand the geometry node system. Plus I got this really awesome comment telling me that hey we need to talk about this and they were absolutely right. I appreciate the comment. Let me know if I forget things because I forget things especially when I cover them in previous videos so it's just not top of mind for me to cover now. Anyway let's talk about sockets and what the heck is a socket. Socket is just kind of the term we use for the input-output graphic that we have on each and every node. Uh, and we have three different types of sockets. So we have circle sockets, which can operate on a single value and only a single value. They cannot work with fields. We have diamond sockets, which can input and output fields and can also operate on single values. But in that case, they will only output a single value. And we have the diamond with a dot, which is just a visual indicator that this socket can work on a field, but currently it's just working on a single value. Now I've used the term fields a lot in this video, and field is just the term that Blender chooses to use to refer to functions in geometry nodes. So anytime you see a diamond socket in geometry nodes, that means that that node is running some kind of a function. It can be a for loop, it can be something more complicated, it can be whatever, but that's what the term field means and that's why we have these different kinds of sockets. And that's really important to understand when you're looking at any given node and to understand what type of data you're working with. For instance, you will never see a diamond geometry socket. And that's because Blender only ever operates on one piece of geometry at a time. You can't have multiple meshes that are all being operated on. You can't have multiple different curves. What you need to do is join all of those different pieces of geometry and then Blender considers them all one anyway. So you'll never see a diamond socket for geometry. Now I will say there are a couple of different ways to work on multiple pieces of geometry at the same time. It's just not actually at the same time. For instance, if you want to use the repeat nodes and have a collection fed into that, that would work. You've got multiple different pieces of geometry and some way of telling Blender which one to work on when. Then you'd have a way to work on multiple different pieces of geometry, but Blender's only ever going to work with one at a time. So you still don't ever have an instance where you have a field for geometry. I hope that's helpful. It's been a little while since I've posted a video. The holidays have been crazy and life has been life. Going forward into 2024, I'm going to work really hard to be more consistent and post more often. We're definitely not going to wait multiple weeks between videos, at least specifically for this series going forward. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far into the video, do the YouTube things, like and subscribe. I appreciate it a lot. I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.